Hi, this is Sasha from Metronor. In my hands I hold our LightPen model LP89. Today I will tell you more about how this LightPen works and what extra functionality it has. First, the way it works is that we have infrared LEDs embedded in a carbon fiber skeleton. We know the position of each individual LEDs and have calibrated the pattern for this specific unit. The Metronor camera looks for the LED patterns and can determine by the angle between the LEDs where we are in 3D space. From there it's very simple for us to calculate the point of where we are probing and report that position to the measurement software. You can change probe tips during the measurement since they are pre-calibrated and have a number. Simply choose the corresponding number from the background menu. Also if a probe tip falls down and the shaft of the probe is bent out of shape you can just bend it back and repeat the calibration. Now you can use the probe tip again for accurate measurements. The other nice capability we can use is the so-called flex mode of the light pen. This mode allows us to ignore up to three LEDs from our total eight. For example, you need to measure behind the part or inside a complex part. Turn on flex mode and use the lower part of the light pen as a very stable extension. Or you need to take a measurement at 14 meters distance. Turn on the flex mode and certain LEDs will be ignored so that the system can recognize the angles between the LEDs better at longer distances. Here are some answers to questions you might have. Yes, you can use different probe tip diameters. You enter this information as you calibrate the probe tip. And no, you don't need to calibrate the probe tip each time you change it. The light pen is powered by rechargeable batteries and with each probing point we not only get XYZ information but also the probing vector. If you're interested in knowing more about our systems, check out our website metronode.com or for specific questions send us an email again over our website or to info at metronode.com.